Okay, so here's the deal. Last night I made uh, my marinara sauce and I decided to change it up a little bit and uh, made uh, marina my marinara sauce and I added some uh, Italian sausage to it with the intention of making a pasta dinner last night. And what does my wife do? She comes home with pizza and pasta. Yeah, that uh, killed that whole idea. So what I'm gonna do tonight is use my sauce in a new uh, approach, for me anyway. I'm gonna uh, make a baked spaghetti. I've already got it start, you know, the process started to curtail the time on this, but uh, basically I've, I've got ricotta cheese and then uh, I've seasoned it with you know, the typical stuff, Italian seasoning blend. Uh, I, I've got a new addiction for this Montreal seasoning. Uh, granulated garlic, basil. Uh, I would have used uh, real minced garlic in this, but I've already got it in the sauce, so why make life difficult? <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's always good to have your, uh, have a uh, navel orange tree out in the backyard if ever you want to juice up some fresh orange juice for an adult beverage. Anyway, I'm going to get this started. We're going to see how it all turns okay, out. Okay, so I forgot to mention that uh, I gave myself a little challenge here. I was going to put this together with only what I had in the fridge. I did one of those a while back, it turned out pretty good. So, thought I'd try it again. This is all the ricotta cheese I had in the fridge, so I had to work with this as a base. So the mixed up ricotta, as you saw earlier, is not a whole lot. That dictates, obviously, what's gonna follow as far as your final volume. Uh, also, my next hurdle was I didn't have enough of the blended. I wasn't gonna go out and pick up more cheeses. I have an Italian blend that I like to use in quick meals like this. It's uh, got all the classics, you know, mozzarella, provolone, Romano, Fontina. You know, it's, it's, it's a good blend, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. And so here's, here's the kicker. I know you guys are gonna like go scratching your head on this, but I'm gonna use some sharp cheddar in there. Cheese is cheese, it's good. I'll hide it down below so, you know, I'll cover it with the real Italian stuff. By the way, you know, sharp cheddar is gonna add a nice little bite to it, accent some of the, uh, other seasonings I've got in there already so we'll see how that turns out idea came about I I found this in the cupboard you know some Barilla regular spaghetti pasta so I got the pasta all cooked up all right so we're you're not ever gonna wash your pasta after you cook it so that's ready to go Lace the, uh, or wipe down the uh, dish with some uh, olive oil, so cuts down my cleaning duties later. Warming up the, uh, some of my uh, sauce that I told you about earlier. Smelling good again as, you, oh, I love it, man. This is, this is, this is good. It's a marinara with uh, Italian mild sausage in it. It, it rocks. So I'm gonna put some of this together and then we'll get back real quick. All right, so like I said, I, I've got the pasta. Yeah, my oil lined uh, dish. And like I previously mentioned, you don't wash your pasta after pulling it off out of the pot. 
what I do is I normally uh, put a little olive oil in it, keep it moist and tender, keep it from sticking together. Then you just put it in a bowl like this. Yeah, having fun with the stringy stuff. All right, so now you got your pasta in the in the dish. I'm gonna bring in our uh, ricotta. Just dump it on top. And you remember, I, I've already added the seasonings to this. You're just gonna kind of create a. Uh, a, um, we're going to create a mess. Basically what you do is you pour in your ricotta. By the way, <laughs> a nice seasoned ricotta in, on warm pasta smells wonderful and creates kind of like almost a pasta alfredo type texture. So now we're going to Walk on the wild side. All right, so uh, we got it all set to go. We got the pasta mixed together, and the sauce. I'm just gonna add on the show cheese here, as I told you, the uh, actual Italian cheese that uh, everybody's expecting to see. And we'll leave the uh, sharp cheddar as a surprise to uh, anybody that can detect it. All right, so I uh, just pulled this out of the oven moments ago and it is like lava hot. I don't wanna bore anybody with the you know, cutting up and watching me scarf down some of this. Been there, done it. Everybody's used to it, but trust me, it smells good. It looks good. Easy to do. Something that you can put together. And like I said, I challenged myself to do it with what I had in the house. And, uh, and it, ah, oh, it smells wonderful. When it cools a little bit, I'll be, I'll be going at it. Hold on a second. I want to take this opportunity to uh, um, say, I'm gonna miss you, brother. Chuck, at my hollow point, you're one of the if not the only channel that, well, I shouldn't say not the only, there's been a couple, but you're the one that I related to most because of our relative closeness and age and some of our physical inabilities. And um, I just loved going to your channel and, and seeing the honesty and the uh, down to earth, take it or leave it type presentations. And I tried to mirror that as best I could, but I've never been able to do it. I'm gonna miss you, man. Um, I don't even know if you're gonna see this, but if you do, I just want you to know that uh, you had a hell of a channel and it's going to be sorely missed by a lot of people. Here's Steve, brother. And Eric, this is uh, just orange juice. Promise.
Have fun, be safe, my brother. See you in the, see you in the future, huh? Maybe. Be honest, uh, like you said, when, uh, when it stops being fun, when you start having to defend yourself against stuff that shouldn't even be a matter of discussion, it loses its, its uh, charisma or whatever. You know, I've always stated from day one, I've never done this for money. I've never done it for popularity. I don't care if you like, dislike. I just wanted to teach people some things. And if that isn't, uh, you know, you know, if that's not something that people are interested in and if all they're interested in is sitting back and trying to pick you apart about things, then yeah, no more fun. So it probably won't be long before I'll be following your brother. Again, you set the uh, standard. Well done. Have fun, be safe, my brother. <laughs>